we've never heard anybody seriously. We, we've had 60,000 or 70,000 infusions. We've had zero serious adverse events. I was listening to Huberman the other day, and there's a guy on there from Stanford. I haven't had a chance to look him up, but he's a stem cell researcher. He and Huberman were talking about these terrible things that have happened. There was one guy with a tumor. Well, this it was an MS patient many, many years ago who had been to three or four clinics. He hadn't been to our clinic, thankfully, <laughs> mm-hmm. but he had been to Ukraine. He had been to uh, Mexico, and he went somewhere else. I think, actually, I, and he wound up having a, a non-malignant mass on his spinal cord because they injected these cells in his spinal cord. What I think is he got some fetal cells or maybe you know, even earlier than just mid-fetus, and, and those things just wanted to become a baby, so they grew into a mass. So that's a horrible event, right? That's one case. And then in Florida, there were two ladies that were treated for you know, eye conditions at a clinic, and they used their fat to isolate not only MSCs that are found in the fat, but the other cells in the fat which are immune cells and, uh, you know, T-regulatory cells and endothelial precursor cells. It, it's a, a gamish of cells, but predominant cell type is the MSC. And they injected, listen to this probably, they injected two ladies on the same day in both their eyes, first of all, with a product that's never been tested before. So somehow those, what I would call totally irresponsible, they're total malpractice, are used as examples of how uh, how stem cells harm people.